Hello. The video for today is how to simplify roots using different examples. The first important knowledge you need to know, the first is this expression. You need to remember this expression. You have a number 8 and the exponent is a fractional number. Now this is equal, the denominator is the order of the root and the numerator is the exponent of the base a. We're going to do one example. For example, if you have 21 and the exponent is 3 over 4, 4 is here is the order of the root and 3, 3 is the exponent 3 is the exponent of the base 21. The base is 21. Okay? Another example. The base is 7. The exponent is 2 over 3 over 7. Then the denominator of the fraction is the order of the root. And the numerator of the fraction that is exponent of 7 is 2, this is the numerator, this is the exponent of the base 7. Next example. Now it's an inverse. You have q root 9 to 11. Remember, 9 is the base. 3 is the order of the root, is the denominator. And 11 is the exponent of 9, is the numerator. Okay, one example. Remember, using this, you're going to use this expression. We're going to use this expression all the time. You have the square root 81x to the 6th power. Then, remember, because this is a square, you don't write 2 here, you don't write, you don't write 2 here, not 2, but uh, you need to know where you don't have any number here, it's a square root, then all of this, all of this, all of this has exponent 1. Now, this is 81x to the 6th. This one is a numerator using this expression here. And 2 is the order of the root. This is the denominator. Okay? Now, you can write 81. 81 is 9 times 2, 9 times 9. Now, 81 is 9 squared. And, an X, and now, using the property of power of power, you multiply the exponent. And now, 2 times 1 is 2. 6 times 1 is 6. And now, 2 divided by 2 is 1. The exponent of 9 is 1. And 6 divided by 2, and the exponent is 3. And now, I write this one. And this is the final answers. Another example. Then continue with the same property. You apply the property because the order of the root is 3. And all of this is to the 1 power. You got 1 in the numerator and a 3 in the denominator because it's q root. Applying the power of power property, you multiply the exponent. 4 times 1 is 4 divided by 3. 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 3. And the final is... Let me see here. The final is... I'm going to analyze what happened here. For example, you had 4 over 3. If you divide 4, you divide by 3, it's going to be 1. 1 times 3 is 3. And you get it here. 1, the remaining 1. What does it mean that 1, 1 x is going to be upside and a 1 x is inside of the root? That's the reason I have 1 x upside is the value of the quotients and a 1, as 1 x inside because is the exponent now of the x because this is not the remaining of the division 
is the exponent of the term inside of the square root. And in case of y, you divide 4, 12 divided by 3, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Then, 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, you get a y to the 4 power. Okay? Next example. 72. X to the 7, y to 11. You get 72, x to the 7, y to 11. Because the order of the root is 2, you use half. Because the order of the root is 2. And now, you go to 72, you select 72. And I'm going to do the prime factorization of 72 here. You need to know how to do this one. You can find a video in my channel, prime factorization, and you will see how to do the prime factorization. Now you divide by 2 is 2, you divide by 2 is 36, and divide by 2 is 18, and divide by 2 is 9, and divide by 3, because 9 is not divisible by, nine, by 2, you divide by 3 is not 3, and you divide by 3 again is 3, and I get a 1. Now I have here 1, 3, 2, and I have here 2, 3. Now, I decompose 72 as 3, 2, 3, 2 is from here. And 2, 3 is from here. And you see, continuous x to the 7, y to 11. And I have. Now, multiply the spotting using the, power of, the property of power of power. You multiply the spotting. And now, when you multiply the exponent, is 3 times 1 is 3 divided by 2. 2 times 1 is 2, and it's 7. And if you multiply the each exponent, each exponent by, by 1 divided by 2. And now, apply the same thing. We're going to do what happened to obtain this result. You say, 3 divided by 2. It's 3 divided by 2 here. It's 1 times 2, and the remaining is 1. Now I have 1, 2, 1, 2 upside, 1, 2 upside, and 1, 2 inside. I have 1, 2 inside. 1, 2 upside, and 1, 2 inside. I get a 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now you get 3 to the 1 power. 7 divided by 2. If you want to do this one, for example... Let me get the erases. Let me, let me erase this one. Let me erase this one. Now. I'm going to divide now 7 divided by 2. 7 divided by 2. It's going to be 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And the remaining is 1. Now from this 7x divided by 2. 3 of them is the, the quotient here. 3 of them upside and 1 inside. Now, 3x upside is the quotient. And the remaining is 1 and 1x inside. And the same thing, and the same thing, and the same thing with, 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 with the y. 11 divided by 2 is 5. And 5 times 2 is 10. And 1 is remaining. Now 5y upside and 1y inside. You do the divisions. The remaining is the exponent inside of the root. And the quotient is the exponent of the side. The exponent upside you use in corresponding variable. And finally, this is the answer. You multiply. Let me erase this one. Let me erase this. Let me erase here. And the final answer is this one. You multiply. You multiply 3 times 2 is 6. X to the third, Y to the five. Next example. Number one, you do the factorization of 1080. Remember, you need to know how to do the prime factorization I recommend you to watch the video in my channel named Prime Factorization. Now, you divide by 2, and when you do the prime factorization, 
the exponent of 2, you have 3, 2, you had 2, 3, and you had 2, 5. And remember, this is a square root, the exponent is the, the order that the root is 2, then the power is a half, because the exponent here is 2. You know right, remember, when it's a square root, you know right 2. You need to write, consider the that this is 2. And now you do the same thing. Multiply the exponent. And when you multiply the exponent, it's this one. 3 times 1 and a half, 2 to the 1 and 3. You multiply 3 times 1 is 3 over 2. 2 times 1 is 2 over 2. 5, in this, here in the case of uh, 5 squared, 2 times 1 is 2 to over 2. And 7 times 1, 7 times 1 here is 7 over 2. And 12 times 1 is 12 divided by 2. And now do the same thing. You divide by 3. 3 divided by 2 is 1 inside and 1 outside. Repeat again. 3 divided by 2 is going to be 1. It's going to be 2 here. And the remaining is 1. Now 1, 2 outside is this one. And 1, 2 inside is this one. 3, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 1, one 3 outside. 2 divided by 2 here is 1, 1, 5. Are at, in the case of P, 7 divided by 2, 7 divided by 2 is 3, 6 here, and the remaining is 1. Now, 3P upside and 1P inside. And a 12 divided by 2, and a finally you multiply 2 times 3 times 5, and this is the final answer. Now, how to do this exercise very fast, very fast. Now, the square root 100 is 10. You say, wow, well, now A, you suppose have here 2, no? This is 2. A divided by 2 is 4. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. That's the final answer. The square root of 100 is 10. Because 10 times 10 is 100. A divided by 2, A divided by 2 is 4. And 12 divided by 2 is 6. Another example. Ah, what is this cubic root of 27? Ah, you need to remember 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Then 3 to the, to the third power is 27. The cubic root of 27 is 3. 3 divided by 3, you divide 3, divide by 3 is 1x. 15 divided by 3 is 5y, and a 9 divided by 3 is 3. This is the final answer. Do it very fast. Next exercise. The square root 121 is 11. 11 is the square root 121. And now if you divide 5 by 2, the quotient is 2, and the remaining is 1. How to check this? You say... 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 here is the 5. And 11 divided by 2 is 5, and the remaining is 1. Now it's 5, and the remaining is 1. When you divide 11, when you divide 11 by 2, it's going to be 5. 5 times 2 is 10, and the remaining is 1. Now you have here the exponent of the 5, the spawning of the y is 5, and 1y is inside of the root. Okay? Next. Ah, you cancel. 4, 4, divide by these two is 2. Now it's 3x minus 2 squared. Next example. It's the same. You say 2, divide by the 2 here is 1. Now the answer is negative 5x to the power 1. Well, remember, you, is you have the power 1, but you don't write the power 1. You don't write. Next one. Ah, the square, the negative 27, and the cubic root of negative 27 is negative 3. Because negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 is negative 27. Ah, you divide now 9 times divide by 3 is 3. And 21 divided by 3 is 7. Next. You need to find the, find the prime factorization of 32. The prime factorization of 32 
you get a 32 the prime factorization if you do in the prime factorization of 32 you would find is 2 to the fifth power 2 to the fifth power this is the prime factorization of 32 and now you put it here 5 divided by 5 this 5 divided by the 5 here is 1 that is negative 2 to the 1 power 8 to the 7 now 7 7 divided by 5 is 1a outside and 2a inside how do you say this? you say 7 divided by 5 is 1 5 here and the remaining is 2 now the remaining is 2 because you have 8 to the 2 and when the quotient is 1 you have 8 to the 1 20 divided by 5 is 4 you get a 4 27 divided by 5 is 5 and 2 is remaining it's a 5 and 2 remain. If you multiply 5 times 5 is 25 plus 2 is a 27 you have here. Another example. You do the prime factorization. The prime factorization of 1080. If this is a prime factorization. And now 3 divided by 3 is 1. 2, 1, 2 upside. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 1, 3 upside. And a 5. Exponent 1, you cannot divide it. That's the reason the 5 is inside. 9 divided by 3 is 3. It's 3 your side. 23 divided by 3 is 7. 23 divided by 3. 7. Okay? 7 times 3, 21 and 2, 23. Okay? And the last example. In this case, I need to analyze if I can write this expression as the perfect square. Remember, you have, you need to divide A, divide by 2, to complete square is 4, and a 4 square, 4 square is 16, and this is this number then this expression is a perfect square and I write this expression as x plus this 4 to square and, do, and this 2 divided by this the, the order of the root 2 is 1 thank you very much to watch this video I will see you in another video have a good day